when I think about the West, I think of it not as a place, but as a culture. Families interact with families differently. It's about land, it's about animals, it's about being the steward of both. And for me, that was interesting and an interesting story to tell. I start each piece on location uh, at a ranch or behind the chutes at a rodeo. And I literally start by squinting and looking for that moment. By squinting, you're gonna see the silhouette. And by eliminating the details, you focus on bigger things, like the way the person's head is tilted or their gesture, the exact moment when the rope is being released. And those are the moments that I look for, and that's what gives the pieces energy. Back in my studio, I'll combine that image, that moment, with different color fields or other elements that help continue to tell that story. I've got all different tools. I use screens, I use sanders, I use water, I use different materials to create this patina. When you see art next to each other from different artists, it makes each piece stand out in a different way. Each person's art is elevated when they're together in a gallery like this. And the fact that Gallery Mar is in Park City and that's the home of Sundance, my work is very cinematic and high contrast, I think gives an additional layer to it. One of the things that I love is when somebody says, oh, are these pictures from the 1800s? Like, are, are these moments from way back, like, you know, 100 or 200 years ago? And I'm like, no, this is the West today. This is right happening right here in Utah, in Montana, in New Mexico. So that idea that you can create this arc of time, it's not Old West and it's not New West, it's the West. <laughs>